Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Puria and in this video I'm gonna show you the Nokia examples. So if we go to our GitHub page, examples, networking, Nokia, you can see it's almost similar to Juniper's with a little bit of differences here and there. Okay, so first thing we need to bring up the lab, spin up the lab. How do we do that? Let's go back to my terminal. Which folder am I in? I'm inside Junipers. Okay, since we are not requiring the Juniper lab anymore, I'm gonna uh, remove it. How do we do that? The First, let's verify if it's up. sudo clab inspect tacti topology. As you can see, the Juniper routers are up and running. Now I'm gonna remove it. The command is sudo clab destroy and then your topology file now let's go to Nokia's folder uh, Nokia container lab and before starting this lab let me show you something inside my VS code let me bring it up okay if you go inside Nokia's folder, Nokia and OK. Inside container lab folder, we are having this topology file and it's a little bit different than Juniper's. And the main difference is this license and startup config sections. So in order to spin up Nokia routers you need to have a license file and you can get it from Nokia or your uh, sales representatives and also we are having startup configuration files which are referring to router A and B which are these files here unlike Cisco and Juniper C-Lab is able to apply the startup configuration on Nokia routers so less steps for us to have these routers ready now let's go and spin up these routers sudo clab deploy tag t topology we can see that Nokia routers are starting up it's gonna take a while and I'm gonna pause this video and continue when the routers are fully functional let's also quickly check the logs and they are starting up all right see you in a while okay the boot up process is complete and now let's try if we can connect to the routers for that let me see what is the name of the container uh, sudo clab inspect tag the topology let's connect to this one ssh admin at admin and perfect we can connect to the routers just fine i need to mention one thing here if you try to connect to your routers and you're getting a connection refuse error it could be because of the ip tables so this nokia routers or container is being spun up inside another virtual machine that virtual machine is depending on your host's machines IP tables module so to fix that we need to run one simple command that I'll also put it in the video description and the command is sudo mod probe IP underscore tables when you run this you need to reconfigure your lab and boot up your Nokia routers again and the command for that is let me just consult my history reconfigure sudo clab you give the topology file and tac tac reconfigure all right i would like to separate my juniper setup from my nokia setup so let's create a new environment slash project let's head to the web console i'll click on imanta 
we go to the main page I'll, we have the Juniper here let's also create the Nokia environment as well let's name it examples as well the name would be Nokia and no other thing is required here okay let's go there I need this environment ID let's go to settings all the way down copy it I'm gonna need it later on now let's configure BGP on our routers let's check the topology here we can see these two routers are connect directly connected to each other I'm gonna choose Ethernet 2 First, let's set the IP address on each of these routers under ETH2 interfaces. Let's go and SSH to router A first. SSH Nokia router A. Admin. Okay, let's go to configure global. Now I have the commands here. I will also link them in the video description. I'll just quickly paste them in okay uh, pretty simple we are just setting an IP address 172.16.1.1 on this interface and we are uh, setting the mode and encapsulation type now let's commit and log out now let's go to router B do the same thing configure global let me fetch the commands as well paste them in the only difference is we are having a different IP address on this router now let's commit and log out okay now let's go back to our examples we are having a BGP example here if you open it up we can see it's a pretty long example we need a few things here to just establish a simple BGP neighborship what do we need let's start copying from top to bottom I need this part copy let's put it in the main file let's go back and I also need this part here let's copy it go back paste it in now I need to replace these uh, attributes here with the values we have here because I need to have two devices router A and router B let's quickly do that hostname would be let's say router1 the management IP would be 10 11 12 31 the port is 830 username is admin password is admin I don't need these anymore here so let's remove them okay we are having a router BGP all right for the neighbor we are gonna follow the IP address we set 172.16.1.2 now I need to make another router or device here how do we do that we just duplicate this I copy everything go to the bottom paste it in now we need to change a few things here first the device name which is going to be device 2 we change the agent name to router 2 the IP is 32 here we need to change the router name as well because we don't want to have any duplicates I'll name it router2 BGP2 router2 group2 BGP2 here group2 and BGP2 this also has to become 
one save and deliberately let's have a mistake in our model let's see how to do that okay here on this bgp instance we are referring to router 2 which is this one i'm just gonna remove the two from here so we are referring to something that doesn't exist save okay i need to fetch these modules here and as you can see our vs code extension is already warning us that there is no nokia sr router module present how do we get these modules if you recall we have to alter this project.yaml file we need a, we need to add a new entry here let me quickly get my token paste it in save the file now we need to go to my terminal and install the project first i need to activate my developer environment how did we do that is through our python virtual environment uh, let me just consult my history source there we go let me also clear the screen okay now we need to install the project in manta project install and if we go to my vs code we should see this lib folder being populated with the required modules and it's working perfectly fine okay let's go back to the terminal let's make sure i didn't make any semantic errors and if you recall we did make a semantic error so in manta tag vbv compile tag f main.cf file okay as expected we can see we are having an error at line 60 we couldn't find router 2 let's go back to the vs code let's go to line 60 and it's complaining about this attribute here let's fix it this should be router 2 and while we're at it this device 2 should also be here let's save it go back to the terminal let's compile again compile and perfect now let's export it to the server first let me clear the screen imanta x uh, tag vvv export tag f main.cf now we will paste in the token let me grab it from here okay now let's go to the web console to resources and it was extremely quick by the time we got here everything was deployed now let's go back to the routers and verify the configuration let's go to the terminal clear the screen let's go to router a and see the configuration let's ssh to nokia admin okay show router bgp neighbor and here we can see our neighbor let's also verify the config configure global info it should be here yes and here we have our bgb configuration let's also check it on router 2 logout from logout let's go router b show router bgp neighbor and here we have it i would like to really encourage you to go ahead and check out the examples that we have gathered here the different ones try to deploy them on your routers change them see how the behavior changes don't be afraid to break things if you face any issues let us know down in the comment section and we will make sure to get back to you and help you out 
one more thing that I would like to mention before ending this video is that automation and specifically network automation is about optimizing and making things more efficient not like having duplicates like uh, the case that we have introduced here and you can already see this is not looking quite nice and it can lead to copy pasting errors so on and so forth in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use the power of imanta language to get rid of all this duplication and make a very clean model so make sure to check out that video i would like to thank you for viewing and see you in the next video bye